Practice Works. What's new video for version 9.1? Insurance Claims Window Enhancements. With version 9.1, you'll find several improvements to the Insurance Claims window, making this window a more effective resource for claims management. Accessing the Insurance Claims window is still done from the Lists menu. In version 9.1, however, there are two claims lists you can view, the main list and the archived list. To view outstanding claims, select the Insurance Claims main claims list. The window now includes enhanced search and sorting functionality, enabling you to produce more targeted search results. In the Claims to Include section, you can now include or filter out primary and secondary claims in your search. Date range fields have been added to help you narrow down your search results even further. Once you have your search criteria selected, click Filter Claims to view the search results. The list no longer starts filtering with each criteria option selected. This small enhancement enables the software to work more efficiently for you. Click Reset Filters to revert the list back to the default search settings. You can also now sort the list by both the submitted and the patient name columns to further assist in locating specific claims by date or last name. When sorting by the patient name column, use the new Find field to quickly locate claims for specific patients. A new button, Clear All, has been added to the Claim Action section, enabling you to move groups of active claims from the claims list, essentially marking them as collected. If you use NEA Fast Attach, the Insurance Claims window displays a Search Criteria section that provides options for NEA attachment statuses, an NEA status column, and direct actions you can take on NEA attachment claims. Archiving Insurance Claims Another enhancement introduced in PracticeWorks version 9.1 is the ability to send refused, collected, not sent, and dead claims to an archived list. Doing so will not only increase the performance of the insurance claim search functionality, but will also produce a smaller and more accurate active claims list. To view your archived list, click Lists, Insurance Claims, Archived Claims List. Until you create an archived list, there is nothing to view. Return to the Insurance Claims window to begin archiving claims. In the Claims to Include section, Select any combination of the options of refused and or collected and primary and or secondary and then click Filter Claims to produce the search results. When a list is produced with only these search options selected, the Archive Claim and Archive All buttons are displayed in the Claims Action section at the bottom of the window. You can archive completed claims individually or in groups. To archive a single claim, select the claim in the list and click Archive Claim. To archive all claims in the results list, click Archive All. Return to the Archive Claims list to view the claims just sent there. The new Archived Insurance Claims window looks and functions just like the Insurance Claims window. One difference is the inclusion of the Restore Claim and Restore All buttons, which serve to return a claim to the main claims list. This concludes the What's New video for CS PracticeWorks version 9.1.